Hello and welcome members. In this video regarding Exchange Online Protection EOP Configure Anti-Malware Policy using PowerShell, we will demonstrate how to review, modify and create anti-malware policies using Exchange Online by the PowerShell environment. Now here you can see that in the previous series of the videos, we are frequently showing you that how you can use the PowerShell commandlets to modify different exchange online environment things and how you can configure security, how you can manage the mailboxes and whole lot of stuff. So by following the same pattern here in this video, we have already connected with the exchange online and now that first to view the existing anti-malware policies, we need to run this command that I'm going to paste here and this is a simple command again get dash malware policy pipe and these are the keywords that we are providing to get extra information and in this we have the format table name action enable internal sender admin notification so let's press enter and once you execute the command it, it will list down all of the existing policies and what currently applied in our environment. So this command you need to note that if you want to review the existing policy so you should use this commandlet. Now then if you wanted to modify your existing you know anti-malware policy so let me show you how you can modify your existing default anti-malware policy. And here have a look that the command starts with set dash malware filter policy dash identity and this is one of our anti-malware policy and these are the parameters that we are providing here like enable internal sender admin notifications internal sender admin address which is the internal address then enable external sender admin notification which is true and again the external sender admin address so these are the parameters that we wanted to change in our existing anti-malware policy and there you go it's done and modified now what if you wanted to create a new you know new custom anti-malware policy and you can create more stricter policy in that case so here let me show you example and in this newly restricted anti-malware policy you can delete infected emails and notifying the security team for both internal and external sources now what set of commands you need to use again a simpler commandlet with you know the definition of the parameters let me resume the screen again so here you can see the new and new dash malware filter policy and here's the name of that policy a strict malware policy and here's the actions and you know all the details and you can review each parameters one by one and here you can see the name of this policy so let's execute and here you can see that it says that there is no parameter that is matches to the name action so no problem we will erase that specific line to make it relevant so let's move the cursor to the top and all we need to do is to remove this one because maybe the commands has been you know modified and changed and you know continuous upgrade to the Microsoft environment mostly goes on that's why these sort of things happen now here you can see that we have successfully created a new anti-malware policy with the name is strict malware policy and here's the detail you can see and it shows all the parameters now after creating this anti-malware policy we need to do what we need to create the rule and call this policy under that rule then it will be implemented on the users or the group of users now for creating the rule we need to run a sets of command let me clear the screen and do all this work in the center that would be more visible for the viewers now here you can see that 
again to create the rule we are going to run the command let new dash malware filter rule dash name strict malware rule this is the rule name and here what we are doing right now is calling the previously created anti-malware policy with the name and here we have used the keyword malware filter policy strict malware policy which is the name of our anti-malware policy and the recipient domain is mentioned now let's press enter to execute and create this rule and here you can see the rule has been created successfully and after you've done this configuration after you created the rule let's verify the policy status and see whether the policy is in the list and there you go you can see that the newly created policy is there and available and the same way let's verify about the rule and for that you need to run this command get dash malware filter rule pipe format table name malware filter policy recipe domain is and here you can see that the strict malware rule is there the policy is mentioned that this rule is using and the recipe domain is mentioned so in this way you can create and configure and fine-tune anti-malware protection using the exchange online powershell and you know what strong anti-malware policies are critical to safeguarding your organization communication channels